everyone, welcome to Preeti's Kitchen. Today let's make 5 refreshing drinks to beat the heat in the summer. So let's get started. So the first one we're making is mango mojito. You have to make a mango pulp uh, of two, about 2 cups of mango and 1 fourth cup water. Blend it until it is smooth. I've already done it. We, for this recipe we just need about 1 fourth cup of uh, mango uh, pulp. I'll keep this aside. The first thing is I've taken a small container in which I'm going to add some lemon wedges. I've taken two big size lemon wedges. If you have small, take about five to six. About eight to ten pieces of fresh mint leaves. A tablespoon of sugar, caster sugar. And one fourth teaspoon of salt. Take a muddler and just crush it. This is done. I'm taking the glass where I'm going to serve. I'm going to add about six to seven uh, ice cubes. Add the mango pulp. To this, add Soda, sparkling water, or I'm taking a sparkling tonic water, chilled. Some uh, uh, chopped mango. So we're making a cucumber cooler as our second drink. Again, I'm taking a small bowl where I'm going to mix everything together. We'll take some slices, cucumber slices. You can take thick or thin, depending what, how you like. One four teaspoon of salt, the regular salt. About a tablespoon of honey. Two teaspoon of lemon juice. About 10 to 12 mint leaves, about one fourth cup of water, and just use a muddler again to mix everything up. You can also blend this mix. When you're blending it, make sure that you're taking about uh, a cup of water and blend the mixture well. I've taken sabza or basil seeds. They look like chia seeds, but they're very different. They are, uh, they serve as a coolant uh, in this weather. There's something like this. So you just soak them for about uh, half an hour and they swell to this size. So I'm taking a glass. This is what I'm going to serve it in. This is a peel of cucumber that I have taken just to, for the drink to look nice. You could do the same or you could just leave it as, as it is to just pour the drink. About one fourth cup of uh, soaked basil seeds go in this. I'm going to put some ice. Just fill it up with ice. Now I'm going to add the blended mix. So just add remaining water. Give it a good mix. And the cucumber coolant is ready. First, we're going to take a big bowl. In this, I'm adding a cup of watermelon puree. It's almost water actually. A few rose petals, whatever rose you have. These are the ones from my garden that I'm using. Then about two cups of milk. A few pieces of watermelon. About two tablespoons of this. Half a cup of sugar. This you can adjust your taste. If you like it lesser, you can. So three teaspoons of the rose syrup. I'm using roux afsa. You can use any rose syrup that you like. Mix together. So I've put some ice cubes in this. I've also put some rose syrup on the side. If you like, you can do the same. Now let's pour this into a drink, into a glass. 
let's garnish with fresh watermelon pieces on the top. Some rose petals and a sprig of fresh mint leaf. So the fourth drink we're making is an orange drink or a sharbat. Let's start with the clean glass that we're going to make it in. I'm going to pour freshly squeezed orange juice of two oranges. basil uh, seeds which I have soaked already about two tablespoons to this we will add black salt about one four teaspoon a teaspoon of sugar about very little of minced ginger you can also grate your ginger fresh ginger and add let's mix this add some chilled water and garnish it with some minced leaves The last drink that we're going to do is called Soul Curry. This is another refreshing drink with coconut milk and kokum. It comes from the state of Maharashtra in India. The kokum is something like this. You can get it in an Indian grocery shop. Kokum full wet. This is not fresh kokum. So what you have to do is just soak it in water for about an hour in warm water. And let it be there. Like how you do it for tamarind. This is what I have got after soaking and then you strain this mixture and keep it aside. So I've already done that. Then uh, I'm going to take about a cup of uh, ground fresh coconut. Another thing that I forgot to tell you is that for coconut, take about 8 to 9 pieces of coconut or arm sole as it is called and you uh, soak it in one cup of warm water. Now this is about one cup of grated, freshly grated coconut. To this we will add about two to two and a half tablespoon of fresh coriander leaves. I'm just going to put everything here. Then we will also add one red or green chilli going to add to this. We will also add very little uh, fresh ginger. You can also add garlic. So uh, I'm going to take minced ginger. I'm just taking very little. Say about 1 4 teaspoon. A little less than 1 4 teaspoon actually. Then we will blend this in hot water. About a cup of hot water. So I've taken a clean bowl with a sieve, I will see, and also the kokum that we had previously soaked. To this I'm adding about 1 4 teaspoon of sugar and half a teaspoon of salt. So now if you have a fresh kokum it will give you a light pinkish colour. Mine was a dry one, that's why I don't see, see the pink hue. Now we'll put this in a glass that we're going to serve it in. So let's pour this into our serving glass. So this is poured in a glass, I've added lots of ice cubes. Let's just garnish it with fresh mint tea. This is done. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, share and subscribe. And thank you for watching.